Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to the channel. Jay DaVinci here with another wig install. Today we're gonna be trying viral wig install hacks to see if they work or not. And let me just show you guys where the 20 inches is sitting on me. I am 5'5", and I feel like this is like 22, 24. You see? Like it's like past my weight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's wig install and let's just hop straight into it. Stop playing with them. Today, we're gonna be testing out some viral wig installing method. This is what the inside looks like, okay? Just so you guys can see, it's thick. This hair is, honey, gripping her, she is thick. Let me just zoom in. I did bleach the knots, and I did not pluck the hairline. I normally do, but I didn't. So it is a frontal parting space all throughout the side, okay? So the first thing I saw was to put your wig inside out. Okay, and this is supposed to help you cut your ear tabs off. So for me, it's a little harder because we have an elastic band on, but <laughs> you are supposed to put it on and then you can literally see where your ear, I have some chalk, but you can literally see, like my ear is right here. So I need to cut off. We're gonna make a little mark. I guess this is supposed to save us all that extra, cause I don't know about you guys, but every time I cut lace off, I make such a mess. I cut it off. Let's try it on, see how it fits. I can say first hack is a go. That worked. The second hack that I saw, uh, today we're gonna be doing like a glueless install. We're supposed to take our got to be, I, I know. We take our got to be and we spray the inside of the wig. Let me spray it this way. Okay, look at the hairline where we're gonna put it on. I saw Sophieology, somebody do this. So you spray the inside. I know, I am so nervous because I normally do, it's been working. So it's like, why change the method? I don't know how much I'm supposed to spray. I think that's enough, okay, let's go. It's so wet on my head, okay. So she said not to put it down. You don't place it until you know it. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, hold on y'all. It's way too much lace. So you don't lay the wig down until you 110% know where you wanna place it. But I do feel like it is getting tacky. I feel like it did make the hair a bit crusty. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna knock it yet. Do I look like I have a super tiny forehead? So far, not good. <laughs> okay, okay. So I would say spraying the lace on the inside, not really working for me. I know you guys know on TikTok right now, the Dyson blow dryer little contraption is going viral. I don't have a Dyson blow dryer, but I have the next best thing. What we will be doing, because I kind of want to straighten the hair, I want to do something a little different. I always do middle parts, but I'm thinking today we're going to do part to the side. <laughs> if you don't really have time to straighten your hair and you want to get your hair as straight as possible, mind you, you guys, I feel like this density is 200 density. I feel like this is 200 density because it's giving thick. So it's gonna be a hassle to straighten all this hair. I'm gonna take my blow dryer. So you kind of gotta like take it like this. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of a difficult, <laughs> it's a little difficult task. So I take a new approach. So far, I would say it's working. This side is a little more non-tamed, but I'm definitely still going to have to run pressing comb, flat iron through it, but not as many go-arounds as I'm gonna have to. I think that you need to make sure your blow dryer can get super hot, and you need to make sure you have a comb, a brush that's a little not as detangled, you know what I mean? I like it, so you guys can see the difference, but um, a lot of work. This isn't a viral hack, but this is something that you should be doing, incorporating. Sometimes we are lazy and we don't wanna like do the most to make our wigs look good, but wax sticks, you need a wax stick. Uh, it just helps with those flyaways. Okay, so this step is actually really crucial. So if you don't have a pressing comb, you can just take like a wand and really just sit it on the hair. And it just makes it so silky.
So I have no hack when it comes to flat ironing your hair. You know, take it in pieces, cause some people wonder how or why their hair doesn't get so flat. And it's because, you know, they don't really take their time. We have successfully straightened the hair. We need, we need some. We won't make it too short, but we kinda need it. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna need to go put on my lashes and then we'll We'll talk about the pros and cons in a second. This is how the hair turned out. I actually genuinely like the hair. I feel like the lace was transparent enough. I did not pluck the hairline and I actually didn't put baby hairs in it. Typically I would put baby hairs in it, but today I kind of, I kind of like, it's giving grown and sexy, mature, it's giving Aaliyah. When it comes to those viral hacks, I feel like the only one that genuinely worked was putting the wig inside out and drawing like where your ear is. It kind of allows me personally to see where I'm cutting because normally I cut too much hair out. So I do like that hack. The hack where I actually sprayed the lace on the inside, I did not like that hack. I had to like touch up my makeup, my eyebrow, half my eyebrow and fell off. When it comes to the hair, I do feel like there are pros and cons that I want to tell you guys about. I wanna start off with the cons because there's not that many. I would say the number one con that I have is that this wig is so big. Granted, that's not everybody's con. Some people are looking for big head friendly wigs. I would rather the wig be too big than too small because I have worked with like companies or I've ordered from companies where the lace doesn't meet ear to ear. It's like all the way up here. You know what I mean? I can appreciate the fact that the wig is big. I would say for me, that was the only con. The pros that this hair is so thick and so luscious. As you guys can see, I was able to straighten it. I do feel like the hair got pretty straight. So I do love that. This is thick. Density is 200, it might be even 250. I love that it's actually a frontal, so if you have been looking for like a frontal wig, it's definitely partable from side to side. I love how easy the knots were to bleach. Like I always tell you guys, I believe that it's a necessity for you to bleach the knots on your wig if you guys want the wig to be as natural as possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this different video. Normally I just come on here and do like either a voiceover or just have like music playing, but today I just wanted to kind of talk you guys through the steps that I took, but it's giving grown and sexy. Like, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.